Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? We here with the Untitled Game Show.com. Back again with another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. For you guys today, I have a battle with me and Cinder Erkin. That's Team Michael Erick. So right now, I'm using a team I just recently made over the last week. It incorporates Smurgle, Articuno, Lambdarus, and a Green Ninja as one of the main parts of the team. It's definitely made to triple battles. This whole team is a triple battle team. And the reason I wanted to try it out for the first time, Michael is willing to give me a full battle. He has his own YouTube channel, so go check out Cinder Airkin. He does Pokemon giveaways as well. But anyway, let's get to the battle. What's the first thing I do? You're not going to expect it, but my Smurgle knows the move. After you see Kiko right here from Aether Slash, I'm going to let it speak for itself. Most people don't play him like this, but I do. In teamwork, boom! I give him Matt Block, the Ninja's move. This move is perfectly suited for triple battles because the rest of my team is perfectly saving from any damage. Like this devastating attack that's about to come from Charizard, which has been solar beam because Drought is in effect. Next up, what I do is use Articuno, use Mind Reader, that makes me be able to get 100% hit on my next attack. So Mind Reader plus a one-hit KO move is a guaranteed always hit. So right there, he's going to take that right away. So Mind Reader plus Fissure, guaranteed kill. That's what the combo is all about. On the next turn, we're going to take care of Charizard. So he's in our path, and we need to take care of him right now. So I'll go ahead and use Spore to put him to sleep in case he doesn't use Heat Wave or any other devastating multi-hit Pokemon move. Right now he's asleep, so that's all good. After that, we're going to pick it up and use Blizzard, but the bastard freaking avoided it, which would have been a devastating attack, seeing as how he is a Dragon type. But Blizzard only has a 70% accuracy, so you know, what can you do about that? He goes ahead and uses a fire on Smurgle. Nothing much I could do about that there. Which is fine. I could have saved him by switching him out by using u turn but I decided not to. And right here I use Rock Smash just to get some damage in on Charizard. He doesn't really need to do six on Charizard while he's asleep with Smurgle. That into effect. Smurgle is going to get taken out, but that's okay right now. He goes ahead and uses... Um, Sacred Sword, which is not going to do that much against Articuno, so I'm not sure what he's thinking right there, but like you said, guys, we're not professional, we just play for fun mostly, even though I try to make a competitive team that's kind of fun to use at the same time. I bring out the Ninja, because the Ninja is Matt Block for himself, I'm going to go ahead and use Matt Block with the Ninja, if I'm pretty much correct. He's going to try to attack me, I am sure he is, because this is how he plays with his Ninja, but... Like I said, guys, I am a map block to the Ninja, that's just how I play. Of course, he's going to use King Shield again with Aegis Flash, which is a smart strategy, but I use Aegis Flash so much that I know everything that you basically would give him, so I'm not worried right now because Articuno has nothing to fear from him, and the rest of my Pokemon are going to be perfectly fine with him being there. So he goes ahead and uses Hydro Pump, which would have been a smart move to use because, well, it would have took out Landorus, and Landorus is a ground type. I'll go ahead and use Mind Reader to get ready to take out Aegislash in the next turn. He flies up. I use Sludge Wave, and it gets blocked. Now, the only reason I use this move, I'm just going to try it out, just so I see what it could do. Like I said, guys, I try out moves just to see, because one of my side goals for Pokemon X and Y, I kind of want to see every single move there is. Like, I, myself, I want to slowly but slowly just keep every Pokemon, every move, and just over a year or two, or however long I play the game, and if I ever get rid of the game, and if I can look it up, I'll look it up. I just want to see what every move looks like in 3D. So, as you see, one hit KO uh, with my leader and... Share cold on Aegis Slash, so he's no issue for me. Mike at this point is like, WTF is going on, this is like bullshit, yeah, but if you do not know about the Mind Reader strategy, then you're gonna be on hand. He gets taken out right there, his dragon is not doing that great in the middle. He switches into his Lucario, 
Because Lucario is a pretty good Pokemon, but so many of you use Lucario that you kind of are prepared for it. I use U-Turn to get rid of the ninja, let him get out of the battle. The reason for that is so that he can reach it and use map block again on another turn. And plus, guess what? It does some pretty good damage against the dragon type in the middle right there. As you see by him becoming slower right now because his health has got reduced by a whole lot. I bring out the strongest Pokemon in Pokemon. At least that's what I like to call him. I personally think he is the strongest Ho-Ho. Ho-Ho to me is the strongest Pokemon, so that's why I like to use him. So anyways, he gets taken out of the and Ho-Ho's out there and he's gonna be ready to do his deed. Subway does hit both me and Ho-Ho, but Ho-Ho can keep that game all day long, so that is no big deal. He brings out a white kit, and no, I bring out a white kit, I'm not him. And there's not much more he could do, you know? I don't like. He's gonna try to take him out. I'm gonna go ahead and use the craziest attack. And. That's gonna do that. Not gonna kill him, and I get on my second turn. Here it goes, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna use close combat. I'm gonna survive that. So he's not going to do much. And there he is from Ho Ho Sky Attack. The strongest flying type attack that I personally know. You could use Dave there, but I could like that so much better. Or obviously, if you give him the power curve, it'll be able to use that in one turn, which you will see on my channel as well. I've done on a few of my matches and in my live stream battles. Alright, guys, so thanks for joining me. I'll be back with more Pokemon X and Y 5 battles every single day. Peace out.